Welcome back to Anointed to Bling. It's your girl here, Rain. I have missed you tremendously. I have been just going through so much, so I haven't really been able to keep up and put out new tutorials, but I'm back and I'm still working on my wedding. We have moved the date and I'm going to show you how I have taken this candle holder from Hobby Lobby and turned it into da -da -da -da, this beautiful Gatsby style fringe candle holder for my Unity candles. If you want to find out how I did it, stay tuned. So for this, you're going to need some supplies. Obviously, you're going to need your candle holder. Now, I got that at Hobby Lobby. I got it for half off. You saw it for $7.99. I got it for 50% off. I also bought the Metal Gallery Rhinestone Trim. It is a little bit expensive, so use that 40% coupon. Sometimes you can get that at 50% off as well. And, of course, you need your trusty E6000 glue. I really like this particular candle holder. I just thought it was a little fancy, uh, and I really wanted to use something unique and different for my candle holders. Now here's one that I actually have already done. Excuse me, I went ahead and fringed it. So I just wanted you to see how that came out, uh, just cutting those strips of that rhinestone trim. It looks really pretty, it's very Gatsby-ish to me. And I thought it was really, really cute. Now what I like to do is cut these into uh, numbered sections. So I've cut them into 14, 13, 12, and the one not pictured here is 10. So I had about four, but you're welcome to do this in any pattern. You may want to make triangles. That's totally up to you. And then all I've done is taken that E6000, uh, glued that glass, and just gently laid the strips on there. Now, the width of this particular candle holder, to keep it totally even, there are about three rhinestones that fit. So you may want to follow that and make sure that things are not too high or too low. And you want to be careful because it absolutely does slide. So you want to hold it and not do too much moving it around as I'm actually doing in the camera here. Um, just to make sure that things sit and you can uh, definitely go around it once and just kind of push things up But it went by really fast once those were pre-cut. So I'm really excited about How this came out. I also took that rhinestone trim and just kind of wrapped it um, Around those places where you see the bubble area. There's a couple of little circle areas on the candle that I thought would be nice in some rhinestone trim which you will see here in just a second and here it is, the final look. I really love how these came out. Now I decided not to do the tall one because I really like the Unity candle that's gonna go on top of it. And I did not want to overdo it. However, in looking at it, I may go back and redo it, you never know. But I wanted something, again, very Gatsby-ish, sort of fringe-inspired, and I really, really love how these came out. I think they just came out absolutely fabulous. I think the bubbles, in the candle holder add a lot to it and you know what when these are $7.99 and $9.99 and they go on sale weekly for 50% off you can't beat that you definitely can't beat that and outside you really do get a lot of sparkle and shine this was recorded in the morning so the sun was not quite out yet to really get a glimpse of that light but I'm really really loving this and I know that when I put the candles on here in just a few seconds it's gonna really enhance it and again for me I wanted the unity candles to stand out if you don't know what a unity candle ceremony is I invite you to look that up it's very special and it just symbolizes the two becoming one uh, under the flame of love under the Holy Spirit and so we'll definitely be incorporating that into our ceremony 
Here's another final look with the candles on. These candles are so amazing. I actually had these made in Germany. And if I can find the link again to the person who did it, I will definitely post that below so that you can hit them up. They had a lot of beautiful candle work. You actually have to go on YouTube and see how these things are made. It is so, so, so amazing. And I really love how these came out. Here's the final look with the three candles on there. I am loving this. I think this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful addition to the ceremony. Look at how that trim is sparkling. See under the sunlight? That's really, really going to sparkle and shine. Uh, we're having an outside ceremony, as far as I know, um, if the venue does not change again. Um, but I think that's really going to be a great addition. And then these can be used in the home later. You know, you might not keep your unity candles, or you might, but these can definitely be a set that is used later. I can see it on your Thanksgiving table, maybe your Christmas table, some sort of decor somewhere in your home. I just think this is an absolutely fabulous addition, and I'm really glad that I put the fringe on the lower two. You can tell me what you think, though, because as I'm looking at it, I kind of feel like I may want to go back and redo the fringe or do the fringe, actually, on that taller one. Um... I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. Meanwhile, I'm grateful that you joined me for this very brief tutorial. Uh, there's another one coming up, Double For Your Trouble, so stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next tutorial, be blessed.